What is going on y'all welcome back to the channel and guys today we are back with another video. Today I will be talking about Pavlov and contractors and the reason why mainly talking about Pavlov is because they us uh, recently made a big announcement on their game and uh, it's quite shocking to me and I'm very disappointed so uh, we just let's just get into the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications and so Recently, Pavlov uh, decided to make this game not free to play and finally releasing the game. And with that, there are many flaws. So, let's get into it. First things first. Uh, Pavlov Shack is now on the MetaQuest site and uh, it is available for pre order uh, for a limited time, of course. And it's coming out in November 15. Reason is that why it's not free is I'm pretty sure that they are losing money and I understand but the entire reason why I kept playing Pavlov this entire time was because it was free and a lot of people feel the same way so for them making this game not free technically they were losing money Anyway, so I, d I wouldn't see why making the game paid would help them. So that's that. And on top of that, if you were to pre purchase the game and if you were a beta tester uh, throughout all these years, and which by the way, Pavla was beta test for this entire time. And so those beta tests that they were talking about was just a sub beta test because this game was apparently in beta test this entire time so for those who did beta test pre-ordered will eventually when the game comes out get get uh, exclusive cosmetics inside the game that which no other people would get if they didn't pre-purchase nor become a beta test and so that's kind of unfair for those um, for those who just mainly bought the game because it's basically saying a middle finger to the community um, behind it and so big question is did Pavlov kill itself we're gonna see um, and personally I think no Pavlov did not kill itself but worse than its reputation let me explain so Pavlov didn't kill itself because there are so many loyal um, there's so many loyal fans out there just like these people and as you can see five stars 100% of people and of course it's not a lot of people but all of these guys that commented here loved the game and even though it was still back uh, as a personal Pavlov fan uh, before it was you know before they announced it I, I used to play this game 24 7 I, I love this game you know and I would I personally feel the same so this game has a lot of loyal fans and so uh, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't kill them kill themselves and second even though their updates are mild and that the release seems mild and nobody is hyped for it I don't see anybody hyped for it not even me um, and so uh, with that I see that I don't know maybe people just I see people that are I guess like the content especially me I mean the even though these updates are mild people still enjoy these content updates just like me it's just they are taking too long and they're implementing features that are so minor that it's quite literally ridiculous to Adam and if they maybe focused on both of the of maybe if they focus on the minor details and the bigger details maybe this game would be much better but I don't think any game development studio would be able to do it I mean some have done it before but that's difficult and um, they failed before uh, let, let's take an example. Let's 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 talk about a non-VR game. Well, we'll talk about Bandai Namco, who created Dark Souls One, Two, Three, and Elden Ring. So, Elden Ring. We'll, we'll take Elden Ring, right? 
Elden Ring was such a phenomenal game. It was the RPG. Um, that it was an RPG and it was big and uh, the the dark fantasy kept it. You know, they kept the genre, the the the, the dark fantasy inside, and that's what I still loved about it. It was an open world dark fantasy game with every single element from Dark Souls one, two, and three still there, and that's what exactly they did right. Everyone loved this concept because before they were doing a, a small story driven game and now was it just an open world of course there's still a story but it was an open world you know and as a Dark Souls fan I loved it enjoyed it and many others did too but of course there are some complainers right so why this compares to Pavlov is because if such a studio were able to focus on the bigger and the minor details of the game how can Pavlov do it themselves and that would take dedication that would take skill effort dedication and a bigger team and that's what Pavlov lacks and they also lack the money that's why they're making this game paid because if they did they're gonna make much more money and I understand it so that's one of the reasons why Pavlov won't kill himself um, moving on um, nonetheless I am excited on what Pavlov are gonna do but unfortunately I think well fortunately for me I don't know about you guys but I will be moving to contractors I believe because uh, solely because it has everything down to the last minute detail for the smaller picture you know so they have cod zombies mods they have a much bigger variety of mo mods uh, and they have it has just this call of duty vibe and I grew up with call of duty so I want to go back to it in VR um, and so when contractors release a content update it's just like Call of Duty there's always hype behind it and so I want that I want that feeling I want it all of it and if I could uh, buy both the uh, both of these games so like Contractors and Pavlov I would but I'd rather stick to Pavlov now uh, sorry Pavlov I'd rather stick to Contractors uh, solely because be like okay taking out the graphics it's better and yeah so they focus on contractors focus on the bigger picture and while Pavlov focused on the smaller picture now I don't know if I, maybe I haven't made my mind yet yet I don't know but for now it's contractors so this is what's going on in the Pavlov community. This is what's going on with Pavlov. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all want to see more videos just like this one, leave a like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. I'll keep you guys updated. And so, uh, ciao.